ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sorina Lukum, and I'm your speaker for today and also the leader of the low gravity team. I'm studying electronics engineering. I'm in the second year of a bachelor's. Together with nine students from Polytechnica University of Bucharest, Romania, and University of Durham, United Kingdom, are extremely honored to present you today our paper entitled Investigation of the Surface Deformation and Dendritic Solidification of Titanium Alloy While Melted in Milligravity, which is also part of the Rexus Bexus project. Rexus Bexus project com comes from rocket and balloon experiments for university students. And it is realized under a bilateral agreement between German Aerospace Center, DLR, and Swedish National Space Board, SNSB. Also, the Eurolaunch is in charge for the project management and for providing the rocket. Uh, during the selection workshop in 2010-12, we received a ticket to space. What we are actually doing is taking a space mission from its early stage to the final stage uh, through all the steps PDR, CDR, integration progress review, acceptance progress review, and launched the rocket in 2014 from Kiruna. What are our objectives? We want to investigate the surface deformation and the properties of some titanium alloy and also acid core solder when we melt it and weld it in milligravity. From where do we have this idea? Well, we want to improve the space manufacturing which has potential benefits uh, in respect with the Earth-based industry. For example, items that are too large to launch in one single rocket can be assembled together up in the sky. Also, um, <coughs> micrometeorites uh, hit spacecraft and sometimes in situ repairing is necessary. For example, on the International Space Station. Also, uh, the alloy formation is affected by gravity. Uh, here on Earth, the crystal structure um, forms imperfectly, but up in the sky, we get a finer structure. Why is our project so unique? We use a high power 25 watts laser in a pressurized box. <coughs> we are going to repeat the experiment here on Earth and up in the sky letting the milligravity to be the single parameter that will differ between the two experiments. This is a setup of the experiment. First of all, we made uh, the experiment in SOLIDWORKS to be sure that every single part fits in the rocket. The yellow cylinder represents the rocket module with a diameter of, of 34 and a height of 22 centimeters. We have the laser under the black box over here, which is the heat sink. We put it there in order to cool it down. From the laser, we have the fiber optics that it is attached to the optical system here through a SMA connector. Uh, the beam is directed to the titanium alloy and also to the acid core solder for melting and welding. We use a GoPro camera in order to record the experiment. For shifting the frame, because we want to weld and melt several samples, we use a linear motor. <coughs> we also have electronics, uh, for example, the driver for the laser, and also for in situ measurements. We are going to use barometers, accelerometers, gyroscopes, and also temperature sensor, because we want to correlate every single second from milligravity with the parameters inside the rocket. The weight of the experiment is approximately 4 kilograms. Another important aspect here shall be the trajectory of the rocket. For 26 seconds, we have the acceleration of the rocket at about 20 g. After that, at about 70 to 90, depending on the mass of the rocket, we have the motor separation, and after that we have the 120 seconds approximately, depending the same of the, because of the same of the mass of the rocket, we have the moments of milligravity. When we test, we turn on our experiment. We have 50 seconds uh, for titanium, 20 seconds for acid core solder, and another 50 seconds for the, um, another titanium sheet that will be welded. 
And after that, uh, the experiment falls on the ground, enters the low atmosphere, falls on the ground, and um, scientists from Eurolunch will recover it. This is an almost ready to fly experiment. Uh, in August, we received the integration progress review from scientists from Eurolunch and European Space Agency. Um, and what we need to do now is to thermal, vibrational, and vacuum testing. We also developed a ground station software. Uh, the graphical user interface was developed in C Sharp. Uh, in the right, we are going to downlink because in the rocket we have only downlink, not uplink. We are going to record uh, the pressure and the temperature with respect of the time. In the left side, we have uh, the serial monitor where we record raw data. And in the rocket, in the corner, we have some buttons when we set the mode of um, uh, the, the experiment, but only before liftoff. We perform some uh, on-ground experiments. In order to test the laser and to obtain the optimal time and uh, power for melting and welding. It is important to outline here that the results presented now will not be fully considered in the final report after the Rexus Baxus project. In the right, we have the samples that were melted during our on ground experiment uh, sheets of titanium alloy of approximately 200 micrometers thickness. This is the on-ground experiment. We performed the experiment at University of Durham and at Polytechnica University of Bucharest, Romania. <laughs> and we tried to keep both the experiments as close as possible to the experiments that we had in the rocket. <laughs> okay. uh, we got some results. We used an X-ray microtomograph that works exactly as a computer tomograph, uh, the one from the hospital but with a better resolution, and also a scanning electron microscope that uses an electron beam in order to scan um, the topography of the material. We were interested in seeing the major microstructures after laser processing, so we compared the theoretical picture with what we obtained. Due to some, um, because of the temperature gradients, we also obtained micro cracks on, uh, on the sheets. For the solidification, um, first of all, we analyze the theoretical <coughs> picture for the dendritic growth. Um, branches, usually uh, called dendrites, um, are formed due to the variation in composition in the material. Uh, because if the solidification takes place rapidly, the spacing, the primary spacing between the dendrites decreases. And because they decrease, the material um, is more thick. Uh, but, however, in milligravity, we expect to see an increased space in the dendrite. This means that the material will not be that strong. However, this fact is compensated with the fact that we have a finer structure um, of the crystals up in the sky. This is actually our main area, this is why we called this paper investigation, because we want to investigate what happens with these two uh, facts and how is the best solution for welding and mel melding in milligravity and also uh, on microgravity. We also have um, uh, the constant roughness on the material that is approximately 14 nanometers. Some conclusions. We are going to launch the rocket in uh, Kiruna in March 2014. And the on-ground experiment is going to be developed on identical samples that will fly on the board of the rocket, hopefully one or two days before the launch of the rocket. Um, we are looking forward to see you again in um, uh, International Astronautical Congress from Canada to see our results after the launch. Uh, we have here a list of references. For more uh, details, we would like to invite you to check our paper. 
And we would like to special thank to our professors and all the scientific board that helped us make this dream possible. And now I'd like to invite my colleagues, my team, uh, because uh, 